But I would like to introduce Doyle Lawson and have him say a few words. And we are super, super excited that he's going to be a part of this year's festival. outside of Kingsport, Fort Town, and uh, lived around there for a while, but uh, moved over to Hancock County where my dad grew up, and uh, then I hit the road, went wherever the, wherever the music took me to where I went to, and lived for a while, but I came home to uh, East Tennessee, and we settled in Bristol. I liked the, the way that the town was, I liked the people. Seemed a little less less congested at that time, and uh, so uh, and I always liked to when I came down State Street. I always liked to look at that sign, Bristol, Virginia, Tennessee, a good place to live, and uh, I found that to be true. And uh, so, folks would ask me, well, "Why don't you just move on to, to Nashville? You're you're so close." I tell them I was close to Nashville as I want to be. <laughs> I, I love living here. I love the the heritage that we have, and uh, I I don't know if everybody that lives here is aware of the of the legacy that, that uh, this Tri Cities area has, particularly Bristol, because of the. Uh, the historic recordings, we all know about that. And, and of course, I'm forever bragging about the Farm and Fun Time show that I used to listen to, WCYB. And uh, I remember uh, my heroes when they were on the radio station. Mac Wise was a dear friend of mine. I, I gave it the office thing. <laughs> uh, Mac Wise and uh, the Lonesome Pine Fiddlers, uh, Lester Flat and Earl Scruggs. Folks like that that came through here and stayed. Look at of course Ralph and Carter Stanley. They were the first people I listened to on the Farm Fun Time Show. But uh, uh, the Carters, what they their input in country music, uh, I think I, I always say they're one half of the reason that country music became the industry it is today. But a lot of we're so fortunate to have the music here. Uh, my daddy sang a cappella music in church in Cortez. We had a lot of that when I was growing up. So the heritage is so, so great here, and, and our legacy is. And I, I would only hope that everybody that lives here, and the folks that move here, would learn about the, what this area really means to country music, uh, to true country music, heartfelt country music. Before, long before we wrote songs looking for a hook line and had one good line of the song, the rest of it was junk. <laughs> they wrote the heart back then and uh, more or less for, for personal reasons than, than commercial value. But progress has the price. So you're always having to give up something to get something. But uh, I think about 10 years that you, you guys have been doing this. I, I had the pleasure, I think one time I did it, Mm -hmm. to be here and I'm looking forward to coming back with my group uh, and uh, hopefully seeing you, some of you folks. And of course I do an annual thing, I want to put in a plug for the Paramount if I may. Uh, a beautiful thing to you that, uh, that I would encourage folks to get behind the efforts to, uh, to help the Paramount. I understand there are some difficulties there. 
uh, it would be good if we could get behind them too. But right now we're talking about this great show. You you talked about Del McCurry and Ricky Skaggs and all those people. And, uh, I have known those folks since probably almost the beginning of their careers too. To, uh, I, I was kind of like Lance Leroy said one time. I'm not old. I don't guess, but I don't. I don't buy green tomatoes. <laughs> I don't know about that. But uh, the, the, a lot of those people I remember, and they've had such an input and impact on music. Ricky Skaggs is a, is a, is a true uh, legend. He's all right. The input he's had uh, in country music and bluegrass, and uh, all of the Blue Highway, all those people you talked about. And it's, it's a pleasure for me and a pure joy to get to come back and be a part of the Riddle of Roots and what what you guys have done for this area is, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for having the vision to do something like this to honor our uh, our region here with with this great festival. And I like all kinds of music. I do. I love. I play bluegrass all my life, and, or since I've been able to pick up an instrument. But I like all kinds of music. I love the sound of music. I hate the sound of noise. <laughs> when you come to this festival, you'll hear music. You won't hear noise. And I thank you all for allowing me to come and speak to you. Thank you so much.